What is up everybody? Team Snagum West here. With a little bit different of a video. Not our typical draft league video. Occasionally I like to do some Pokemon TCG pack openings. Um for this episode we have I think roughly about twenty one dollar packs from Dollar Tree. Um we got Rebel Clash, and I think pretty much all of them, but three of them are Rebel Clash. Let me see if I can pull out the... And then we also got three Sun and Moon Unbroken Bonds. So that is there for us. Um, we pre-weighed. My wife and I, we pre-weighed all, all of our packs here. Um... So here's our stack. These ones here are six grams. This stack here is all six grams. We have a seven gram Rebel Clash. And then we jump into the Unbroken Bonds, which are a little bit heavier. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and get rolling here. Let's see how much issues we can get with opening things up. These packs are so thin compared to regular ones. I'm afraid of bending the cards Just trying to get in the pack here so pack number one has been opened and we have let's go ahead and pull this one up here we got nose pass we got wingle and leaf energy so nothing crazy good there um where's my push up at discard pile no, i guess we'll just put it on the keyboard we'll just put it on the keyboard so let's go ahead, another six gram Rebel Clash pack here. Um, I don't know if higher or lower weight is good. Um, Cause I, I, I was measuring some packs in like, we got a secret rare Lapras and I think base set Sun and Moon. And that one was like less than the regular ones. So we got Caterpie here. We got a reverse hollow beware. That's pretty nice. That's pretty cool. And we got speed and energy. Okay. Nothing crazy there. Nothing crazy. Now we do have sleeves just in hand. I actually have pretty decent experience with these packs. Um I think I pulled a um Secret Rare Ultra Ball from Sun and Moon Base set from a dollar pack. So that's like the card to grab. Um, I have it around here somewhere. I'm having issues opening this pack up here. Just this one though. Just this one. Some people make this look so easy to open these. Usually they have a little bit more thickness, so it's like easier to open them but there we go there we go broke the seal on that one that one is a little crazy so we have squovit res hollow galarian darumaka and i can't read that dan whoever dan is good job dan you made it into a card all right not bad not bad not bad at all So, I'm not really an avid collector. Um, I have a lot of like older cards as a kid. But sadly, I was a kid. So they're not in the best condition wise because I used to play with them with my friends. I like recess, I brought them to show and tell, which all my friends at school. So they've definitely been through the ringer to say the least. Okay, I want to go cross-eyed trying to open these packs, man. I am gonna go cross-eyed trying to open these. I was thinking about pre-opening these, honestly. Oh, we're struggling. We're struggling here. I'm trying to get in the crease here. Where it splits. Again, normally they're a lot thicker. Like a, a normal pack. A normal pack's a lot thicker. This one only has three cards in it. 
Which for a dollar, I guess, because a regular pack has like nine. So I mean, and they're usually like four dollars retail. So it's kind of a, kind of a decent value, I think. Um, got Applin, regular Glarian Armaka, and Twin Energy. Now this card has a secret rare version. I think that's the top card to get in the set. So we're gonna hope we get a secret rare Twin Energy card. Also, I think Full Art Dragapult is also a good card to pick up. I don't really know a lot about Rebel Clash. I know a lot of people don't really like Rebel Clash, so. But I was, I was kind of glancing at the cards before we opened. We got Galarian Meowth. Zamazenta, nice card, and Pelper. So nothing nothing too crazy there. We got a, a box art legendary. A box art legendary. Oh, I'll just tore that one. Oh, so this one's gonna be a lot easier. To open, just try to get the finger in there, man. Gotta get the finger in there. All right. We still have a lot of these packs left. We got Glary Mr. Mime, um, Stover, and Electric Energy. Alright, so nothing crazy so far. Nothing crazy. We still got a lot more. I'm trying to speed up here a little bit. Oh, come on. Yeah, there we go. Can you get between that seal, man? That's the hardest part. Okay, we still have, I think, about one, two, three. We still have a lot of these six ounce ones. So we got Scyther. That's a nice card. We got Reverse Hollow Vicavolt and Palpitode. It's kind of hard to tell on my webcam. It's a little bit older of a webcam. I mean, it's 1080, but it's oh, definitely an older 1080 camera. For sure. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump into the next one. I know my wife wanted to open these with me, but she doesn't want to be on camera. Come on. I'm, I'm literally going cross right now. I'm starting to see double. Am I even. See double. That's not good. Okay, so that one we didn't tear as cleanly. Um, we got Litwick. No, wrong camera. Wrong camera. Um, what is that? Oh, Galarian Cor uh, Corsola and Metacham. No hollows yet, but these are the six ounce cards, so we'll find out if the seven ounce card does have a hollow in it. There's also a good chance somebody could have picked through these already when we picked them up at the store. That is a good possibility. Okay, I think I'm starting to learn the technique and open these a little bit better. I think we're talking about technique. Technique! 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 We got Electabuzz. We got... Mag Mortar and Fire Energy. All right, that was definitely an interesting pack here. These packs are so like so small, man. Can't even get them open. Come on. Jesus, there we go. This whole day is probably going to be me complaining about how to open these things. Growlithe. Oh, it's actually a really cute card. I like that card. We got Growlithe, we got Impidimp, and we got Hatcher. Nice. Very cute Pokemon there. Very cute, very cute.
I'm gonna try to get our nails into here. Come on, come on. There we go. All right, we got Bronzor. We got Toxel and Halucha. Nothing crazy yet, nothing crazy yet. Nothing has made it worth our time and your money. The physical version of a Pachinko machine. <laughs> These Pokemon cards are. Okay, next pack is open. We got Galarian Darumaka. Reverse Hollow Electrode, that's a pretty nice card. And Milo. All right. So Reverse Hollow cards are probably about the same weight. They're actually probably closer to seven grams. The scale I was using doesn't have decimal points for grams. So I don't know if it's six, if it's like six, or if it rounds up to seven. I don't really know how all that works, but. Come on, we're almost, we almost got it, we almost got it. There we go, there we go. And my hands are in a cramp now. We got Galarian Corsola again. Reverse Hollow Diggers B, there we go. We got a VGC, we got our guy on our draft league team. I almost said VGC. Hatchrim, nothing crazy, but we did get Reverse Hollow Diggers B, which is pretty dope. I like Diggers B a lot. Um, using him this season for the TPL, just the draft league I am in. If you guys don't know, be sure to check out any of my videos. Um, I usually upload the bad the videos like an hour after the battle, sometimes even sooner than that, sometimes 15, 20 minutes after. Um, just kind of depends on how much time I want to spend on the thumbnail. <laughs> That's kind of what it comes down to. Okay, the next pack is open. We have, so far, with the six ounce left, we have four more six ounce packs. We got a Volibee. Oh, we got a Holographic Colossal. Okay. And we got Lombre. Um, we'll go ahead and put that Holographic Colossal in a sleeve. I don't know how valuable a Colossal is. Um, but it's a holographic card, you know, we'll make sure it stays in nice condition. We have this little Sun and Moon sleeves um, from the booster box. But yeah, we got a nice little holographic Colossal there. I don't know how valuable it is, but Colossal is a cool Pokemon. I like Colossal a lot. We'll put you in your own little stack, buddy. Alright, so our first actual holographic of the day. Whole 13 minutes in. It would be a lot faster if I open these packs, but we're here for the experience. We are here for the experience. I didn't want to pre-open these all before. And I hope everyone's having a great day as we struggle. At this point, you guys already know that I suck at opening these things. Okay, we got Blitwick, Shinx, and Fighting Energy. Not too bad, not too bad. All right, the last, oh, there's actually one hidden one. So there's actually, we got three left of six ounce packs here. So let's go ahead and I just see people that are so good at opening these packs, man. I don't know how they do it. I would not be good at stealing Pokemon cards, that, that's for sure. Oh my god, I'm getting like cross-eyed looking at this. We are getting cross-eyed. I was trying to do this in the light. With your lights. Not really the best, not a bit, not the best. Come on, Wes, you can do it. There we go. 
I'll just rip that one right in half. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> that one's straight in half. Okay. Hands cramping. We got Shinx. Oh, reverse hollow scissor. I actually have a guy who would actually love these Pokemon. Dude Blade. Scissor and Scyther, man. Oh, we dropped a Shinx card. But yeah, my buddy uh, Daniel would like these scissor cards, and I might actually give it to him the next time I see him. There we go. We're getting, we're getting better, we're getting better, I think. Practice makes perfect. We got Magic Carp. I love, look at this Magic Carp. I like that card. That's a good card. Magic Carp. We got Meditate and Leaf Energy. Leaf Energy and the last six ounce pack here. How will we do? I don't know. You guys got any guesses? Leave them in the comment section below for the last six ounce pack. Oh, come on, man. Come on. I can almost just strip this straight off. Almost. Almost just strip, strip it straight off. I don't know. You gotta lift weights to open up Pokemon cards. Apparently, you do. <laughs> Apparently, you gotta lift weights to open these things. All right, we got Bunnelby. We got what is that? Oh, Volpe. oh, that's actually Volpe. you can't you can't really see from here, but look, you got Volpix and Skuntink, and that's it for the six ounce packs. Let's go ahead and jump to the Rebel Clash. This one was seven ounces. Again, it could have been the scale. I did not re-measure it, so we're just gonna take a leap of faith. Math does not lie, am I right? Math would not lie to us. Okay, we finally got in the split there. Alright, the 7 ounce Rebel Clash. We got a baby Toxel. A Vicavolt, look at that card. A holographic Vicavolt and water energy. Vicavolt, also a pretty cool Pokemon. I like Vicavolt a lot. Don't really use it a lot, but a very cool Pokemon to say the least. So that is not too bad. We got, and that's it for the Rebel Clash, by the way. The Rebel Clash provided us with a Holographic Vigavolt and a Holographic Colossal. Not terrible, not terrible. So let's go ahead and go into Unbroken Bonds. This one I believe was eight ounces. Unbroken Bonds weighing a lot more than Rebel Clash. Don't know if that's just the cards or the scale. Do not hold me to that. Oh, it's because it comes with a little promotion to visit Pokemon.com to discover the fun. So that's probably why it weighs more. So we have Jigglypuff, Genesect, and Janine. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, and these last two were nine pound nine pounds nine grams um the seal on these looks a little a little questionable all right but once again watch pokemon pokemon tv all right we got aaron Oh, we got Greninja and Zoroark GX. Look at that card. Let's go ahead and give it more attention here. Oh, and it's an ultra rare. So there's that card there. The camera will focus. Let me have my face. It doesn't like. There you go. Look at that. Definitely sleep. 
that one up. So, I mean, overall, we paid like $20 for all these cards. And I think for what we got, I think we already got our money's worth. But we still have one more Unbroken Bonds card. But a very good one to say the least. There we go. Very good pull there. We take those. And the last pack. Separated. This one's like not peeling. There we go. This one's like not splitting. Not splitting. Hopefully, the more we do these, the better at opening we get. This one was also nine pounds. We got nine, nine grams, not pounds. We got Zubat, Kofag, and Togetic. Very cute card. But that is it. Um, so not entirely sure if that was worth it, but we got some three good pulls here. Um, here's the three that we got. We got Zorark and Greninja, along with Colossal. And Vickable. So that would be it. Be sure to drop a like if you guys liked. If you guys would like to see more. Maybe we make this a monthly thing where we just go and spend like however much money I, I can afford to pay on dollar packs. Um, or maybe we'll do booster box next time. Kind of just depends. But drop a like if you guys liked. Drop a comment on what you guys think is the best card from the stack we pulled here. Uh, I don't really know enough about Unbroken Bonds or Rebel Clash. Uh, we'll definitely go ahead and take a look. So again, drop a like if you guys like. And I will see you guys in the next one. I do post weekly Draft League videos. Um, we stream Among Us. We stream Paper Mario. And we stream just Nuzlocks in general. So be sure to check out Twitch in the description below. And I will see you guys later. Bye.